Cheryl Trevithick, advisor to Grants Community High School's Canine Connection Club. Our club partnered with Grants National Art Artist Society to teach you what we believe to be the fundamental points of being a responsible dog owner. We hope you enjoy our ABCs and are able to grow in your connections with the dogs that come into your life. A. Advocate for your dog. Protecting your dog from harm requires you to be aware, alert, and proactive. Your dog depends on you for just about everything, so it is important to educate yourself on being a better dog owner, familiarize yourself with issues dogs may face, research products your dog may use, and carefully choose who cares for your dog. You need to scan their environments for beings and events that may cause them stress or harm. And if you come across a negative situation, you may need to speak up, step in, or somehow change the situation so your dog is protected. B, body language. Learn to read your dog's body language in order to understand their behavior and feelings. Your dog's primary way to communicate is with body language, so if you want to build a better relationship with your dog, you need to develop an understanding of what the various postures and body movements are. Interpreting your dog's body language can also help you keep them out of stressful situations and avoid circumstances that might otherwise end in conflict. C. Commitment. Make a commitment to provide loving care for your dog throughout their lifetime. This commitment includes investing time, energy, and finances to properly care for your dog for as much as 12 to 15 years or more. As major changes happen in your life or around your home, consider how they may impact your dog, and if necessary, find ways to help your dog adjust. C. Dog-proof your home. Make changes to your home environment to reduce problem behaviors instead of punishing your dog. It is your job to make your home as safe as possible for your dog by knowing what types of items might be poisonous or hazardous to your dog, and storing them in a secure location. Also keep any items that may be chewed or broken out of your dog's reach. Block off any area of the house that you want off limits to your dog. Don't forget to block off your dog's access to the garbage can. E. Exercise and enrichment. Dogs need physical and mental exercise to keep healthy. Besides the physical benefits, Daily walks also provide your dog with the chance to become better socialized with other animals and people and relieve boredom by exploring their world. Using toys, tricks, and games is also important for developing your dog's mind and avoiding problems, behaviors from occurring. F. Food. Feed the best quality food you can afford and make sure fresh water is always available. A proper diet will help your dog live a longer and happier life. Do your research to discover which type of diet and food is best for your dog. Pay attention to portion sizes for meals and treats, and be aware of food recalls. It is also important to wash food and water bowls daily to prevent the growth and spread of germs, mold, algae, and fungi. G. Grooming. Groom your dog so your dog stays clean, happy, and healthy. Grooming includes bathing, brushing their coat, regular toothbrushing, cleaning their eyes, and keeping their nails trimmed short. Familiarize your dog yourself with the type of grooming of your particular dog needs. And if you will be grooming your dog yourself, make sure you have the right kind of tool and know how to properly use them. H. Home. Keep your dog inside your home where they can enjoy your company and be safe from the weather. Dogs, being highly social creatures, thrive when they are under the same roof as you. Additional reasons to keep your dog in your home include shielding them from being stolen, running away, disturbing the neighbors, and being injured by predators. I. Identification. Make sure your dog has a microchip, a collar with an ID, and a rabies set. Proper identification will increase your chances of your dog being united with you if your dog is lost or stolen. J. Jobs. Most breeds love performing jobs and tasks that provide them with a sense of purpose and well-being. Tasks such as fetching, finding something, hurting, or carrying items makes their minds more alert. K. Kindness. Use kindness and positive reinforcement in your training and interactions with your dog. These are sensitive, pity, praise, and rewards will help build your relationship with your dog. 
and make them want to learn and please you. Whereas force and, force and punishment may only get your dog to act out of fear and not really understand what you want. Remember, rewards can be in the form of treats, toys, or attention. Hell, love. Dogs give us their unconditional love and loyalty. And in exchange, we need to honor this relationship with our love and time. You are the center of your dog's world. Demonstrate your love by playing with them, taking them places, showing them affection, and valuing their company. Um, money. If you are planning on adding a dog to your home, be honest and realistic about how much money the dog may cost and whether you can afford it. Make sure your budget can cover expenses such as food, grooming, training, toys, medical care, travel, and or boarding expenses, accessories, and equipment. And neuter or spay. Neutering and spaying will help avoid unwanted litters from occurring. These operations help from adding to the number of dogs in shelters, protect against some serious health problems, and reduce some behavioral problems. Obedience training. All dogs should learn the command, sit, down, come, and stay, in addition to walking nicely on a leash. Having some basic commands and manners as part of your dog repertory can not only make your life easier, but also build a better bond between you and your dog. Furthermore, the, these essential commands can help your dog Respond to you immediately, stay in a given position, exercise self-control, and come when requested. All important features in helping save your dog in an emergency situation. He prepare. Make plans for the safety and care of your dog should an emergency, disaster, or impending death occur. This preparation includes creating emergency and disaster plans that include your dog and an evacuation kit. Also, deciding on alternate arrangements if you can no longer care for your dog. Further, taking with your veterinarian and making timely plans if your dog's quality of life is suffering. Q. Quiet time. Teach your dog how to settle so you can enjoy some relaxing time together and or so your dog can peacefully separate from you when needing to be left alone. Helping your dog learn to remain in a calm, relaxed state can also be helpful when overstimulating situations occur, like company visiting or getting ready for a walk. Our research. Before deciding which dog is right for you, do some research to make the right match. Take an honest look at your home environment, your lifestyle, and what qualities you want in a dog. Making impulsive decisions or letting others pressure you into getting a dog before you are ready can result in heartbreak for you and lots of problems for your dog. S. Socialization. You can socialize your dog by gradually introducing them to many people, places, and experiences where they will be comfortable with the world around them. Socializing your pet at an early age will help build their confidence and make them more comfortable in the world. T. Toys. Toys can help keep your dog's mind and body healthy, build a bond with you, and provide comfort. Discover which toys are most appropriate and interesting for your dog, and get both toys that your dog can play with alone and ones they can play with you. Rotate your dog's toys occasionally and remove any that are showing signs of falling apart. You, understanding. Help your dog improve their understanding and learning by giving them time to figure out what you are asking them to do. Sometimes dogs have a hard time acquiring a new skill because we push them too fast to learn or because they become lazy from us always doing the thinking for them. When teaching a new skill, break things down in small steps and give your dog a chance to discover how to do the behavior on their own. B. Veterinarian care. Vet visits are not only important for when your dog is sick or hurt, but also for preventing disease and helping your dog live a longer and healthier life. Since dogs are good at hiding pain, it is important to keep up with regular checkups, even if your dog doesn't appear sick. Routine care also provides the opportunity for baseline information on your dog to be collected so your vet can more easily recognize and treat your dog if they become sick or injured. Vaccinations and preventative treatments are other tools for protecting both your pet and others from diseases and parasites. W. Wife Pickup. A responsible dog owner picks up after your dog. No one likes stepping on dog poop, plus cleaning up after your dog keeps both animals and people safe from bacteria and parasites. Make sure to always have waste bags on you whenever you travel with your dog away from home. X. 
Examine. Examine your dog daily from head to tail, spending some time each day running your hands all over your dog will help you notice if something is out of the ordinary, like ticks, fleas, burrs, or tumors. It also helps your dog become more comfortable with having various body parts handled, which can help if professionals like a veterinarian or groomer need to handle your dog. Why? Yard. Make your yard secure with either, either a physical or invisible fence. A physical fence needs to be both strong enough and high enough to keep your dog inside your yard. A good physical fence can also keep other animals from wandering in and causing problems for your dog. Make sure to regularly check your borders for any holes or gaps your dog can get through or that your invisible fence is working properly. Z. Zones. Turn your dog to any off-limits zones in your home and also keep your dogs in personal space of their own. Your dog should have a designated place of their own where they can physically and mentally rest. Your dog's area should be away from the main flow of family traffic and allow your dog to rest undisturbed. Thank you for listening.